There is an interesting debate about whether we should be heading for revolutionary change or incremental change. What's clear to me in any event is that one needs to focus on incremental change. There are many, many strong ideas out there. The CHS provides an extraordinary opportunity to move ahead. Um, I think there's a danger uh, trying to sort of go too quickly, to move too fast and lose out on the opportunities that present themselves now. So I think by, by framing the, uh, the accountability and quality debate in a very structured way, which focuses very much on the way one should do humanitarian um, programming, uh, the kinds of um, results that you're looking for, the kind of rights that you want to bestow, uh, the kinds of relationships that you want to develop, I think that's absolutely crucial. And I think there are many building blocks that we should now put in place uh, to achieve the goals of the CHS. And one should sort of stand aside a little bit from revolutionary change as the answer. The focus is really on how does one do humanitarian action? And how does one do it from the perspective of those who are supposed to be at the receiving end of good humanitarian practice. I think the CHS does a fantastic job of outlining what good humanitarian practice looks like, but it also provides a framework around which one can start asking very specific questions of people who are supposed to benefit from the system as to whether or not this is working to their benefit.